What's up amigos, welcome to my very first video on YouTube. In this series of videos, we will gonna have a deeper look into the details of software development and programming concepts. So let's start with the first one. Singleton design pattern. In this video, we will see what it is and what are its use cases, then we will get our hands dirty with a demo. We will implement singleton design pattern in C sharp and then we will improve it with parallel programming. After that, we will see a comparison between singleton and static types and static methods. So, without further ado, let's get started. What is singleton? As Wikipedia says, in software engineering, the singleton pattern is a software design pattern that restricts the instantiation of a class to one single instance. So there are two key points here. The first one having only one instance of a class, no other instances. And two, having a class that has control over its instantiation. So what are the use cases of having only one instance of a class? The first one and the most important one is having state objects which hold specific information about the application or they hold state of the application or some part of the application. Because we never can have two states of the same system at a single point in time. There are two other use cases, but they are not as common as the first one. Whenever you are dealing with creational design patterns like as builders, abstract factories, and prototypes, you can use singletons. Then, there are facade objects. Facade objects can made be simpler by using singleton design pattern. Facade objects are those which make interacting with subsystems or ugly APIs easier to read and more simple. Now it's time for a demo. There are two steps in creating a singleton object. First is to hide the constructor so no one else can create an object from outside of the class. The second step is to create a static method that will return an instance of the object from the inside of the class. So let's get our hands dirty. This is just a simple WPF application. We have two windows here, a main window and a state window. The main window contains only one button which creates a new state window. The second window, which is the state window, contains a text block which is going to show the state of the application and a button which updates the state. Currently, this button click handler is empty. We create a new class named counterState. We hide its constructor so no one else from outside world can create a new instance out of it. Now, the next step is to create a method that will return a new instance of this class. In this method, we create a new object of the contrast state class and return it. But this is creating a new instance every time it is getting called. So, we introduce a field which is static and assign our instance to it. So, we should have a field which holds our instance. Every time we check whether it's null or not, if it is, we assign it a new instance. After that, we will return whatever is inside it. So, there has to be always an instance inside that field. Now, I would like to mention that we can do all of this in just one single line of code if you are using C-Sharp 8. 
I'm not going to explain this because it's out of the scope of this video. Much prettier. Now, as the name suggests, we want to hold the state of a counter value. So, we add a property named value with a backing field for encapsulation. So, no one else from the outside world can change it. Also, we will increment its value whenever it's accessed. Now, it's time to implement Restate Windows Update Counter Buttons Handler. We will get a new instance from the counter state an update or text block. All done. Let's run the application. Let's create another window. And we hit the update button. Let's create another window. If we have the same object, we should see the value is 5. There you have it. Two separate windows having one single state object. Things are not always this pretty. I have another example that I want to show you. Imagine if we have two separate codes calling or getting instance method at the very same time. Here as you can see I'm doing it with parallel.invoke which is from parallel task library of .NET. This calls everything we pass to it in parallel. Now let's take a look at get instance method. The first create method comes here and sees the counter state is null. Now wait, the second one comes in. It also checks and sees the counter state is null. Now let's head back to the first one. It creates a new instance of the counter state and after that it returns the instance. Now the second one. It also creates a new instance and it will return this instance to the caller. So we have two instances at the same time, which is not what we want. I have added a log method in the contrast state constructor so we can see this actually happens. Now let's run the application. As you can see, two instances created are written on the screen. To avoid this, we can use a C-sharp lock here. A lock protects this area from having two separate threads entering this area at the same time. Now, let's run the application again. No more two instances. Now it's time for a comparison. Why don't we just use the statics? Isn't it simpler to just use the statics? Maybe it is, but only sometimes, not always. Let's see when it is not. Singleton classes can extend other classes and implement interfaces. Meanwhile, if you have a static class, you cannot inherit any other classes or implement other interfaces. Singleton objects can be passed around. They are all objects. Singleton objects can be instantiated lazily or eagerly. This is not the case with the statics. Singleton objects can be mocked in unit tests, so you don't have to worry about them. Singleton objects comply with principles of object-oriented programming. You can do inheritance as I mentioned earlier, you can do polymorphism, you can have encapsulation, and much more. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video as much as I did creating it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. 
Also, enable the notification bell so you can get more videos. And don't forget to leave a comment below so I can do better and more. Until next time, enjoy Singleton.